I've already shuffled and I also put two oracle cards for your recent past. They are the two cards to, to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go over the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, for your recent past, we have listen. And on the flip side of listen, it reads, when we feel overly attached to an outcome, it's simply an indication that we need to reconnect with our wise self. And this card is paired with trust. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So in the recent past, you could have um, been in a situation or a relationship that you just needed to put more trust into it. Because we have listen, you felt overly attached to the outcome of something, a connection or a relationship. You were just in your head about it, it looks like in the picture. And um, it, was, it would have been important for you to connect or reconnect with wisdom, your wise, the wise side of yourself. Yeah, because um, some type of probably a romantic situation you were in and you just needed to have faith in it and connect with wisdom because you were stuck in your head about some situation or a relationship in the recent past. So you needed to connect. You need to be more wise about the situation or the connection and just have faith and that's what you did or that's what you should have done in the recent past. Now let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Now the Six of Pentacles is a sign of a turn for the better, uh, especially with regards to money because the Pentacles, when you hear that, when you hear that um, name Pentacles, um, that means money, cash, coins. So it's a turn for the better with your finances. This is one of the more positive pinnacle cards. It's about fairness, equality, and the nature of life. You could be heading into a real positive cycle with the Six of Pentacles, meaning that you could be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value at this time. So that's a good thing. So you want to remember to share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. When the Six of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, if you're already committed, it points to a happy, generous, fair, and balanced relationship for at least a while. So allow your lover, the person that you're dealing with, to give to you whether that's in the area of material or spiritual. And at the same time, make sure you're doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. If you're unattached and you're looking for love, Aquarius, at this time, you're likely to meet someone new. This person would be positive, kind, and generous. This may come about by way of introduction from someone you know. So make sure that you let people know that you're looking for a partner at this time. Now this Six of Pentacles is paired with a Page of Swords. Now, Page of Swords, it can stand for an actual person. Now this person will probably represent a younger person because the page is about youth. Um, it's about a message that's coming in. In this instance, it, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear because there's a sword there, something you might want to cut out. Okay, so this person, they might be trying too hard or pushing too fast or stepping on the toes of others. So you may need to study the body language, study their body language and consider 
how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism from, from others because you're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy at this time so you want to use it wisely now this page of swords when it talks about love and relationships there could be some mild conflict at this time you have to know when to push and when to back off because many fights and discussions they're actually not worth having as long as your partner is treating you with respect so allow your partner to have his or her own space because trust it's well this is a crucial time for happiness put it that way so make sure you give them their breathing space if you see that that's what they need um, it's good like I said it's crucial for happiness at this time and if you're unattached and you're single Aquarius at this time make sure you get out and mingle socialize put your picture on uh, Facebook social media uh, just make yourself available make make people know that you're you're available and um, I say this because with this page of Pinnacles um, love it just doesn't drop out of the sky by itself it's not going to do that with this page of swords and probably if you didn't have a page of swords we all know love is not doesn't come that easy so basically for the present time six of pentacles and page of swords this six of pentacles is going to bring you some prosperity yep prosperity and some generosity you'll be receiving some help someone will be making you the beneficiary of something of value I don't know when I get this card I tease my watchers about um, when it's when it's about someone giving you something of value hey who knows do you have a sugar daddy some people do hey it could happen all right but something of value yep is going to be given to you it's about this one's about prosperity okay and um, because it's paired with this page of swords there's a message coming in and it's it's probably like I said not what you want to hear so it's going to cause some mild conflict and I'm picking up that it's not coming from a trustworthy source because like I said the page is a young person so how does it relate to this prosperity that's coming in hmm well you probably uh, there'll probably be some fights and discussions once this prosperity comes in it's gonna cause some conflict yeah that's what I'm picking up it's gonna cause some conflict when this abundance come in and uh, someone might want to step on the toes of, of others but there's someone young in this picture you know they just might want to be immature about this so you might want to keep this prosperity to yourself yeah don't share it don't share the information with everyone because it's going to cause some some fights yep someone's going to want to bring out their sword so be careful with that when you get this this information about some type of uh, beneficiary or getting some type of gift or something of value just don't share it because with this page of swords it's going to cause some problems so keep keep that good news to yourself so that's in the present time now let's move on down and take a look at how they see you the person you're dealing with in this connection and um, just overall how they're viewing this connection how they see you we have the page of cups and the eight of cups a lot of pages is in, is in this reading does some of you some of you deal with a lot of young people I guess because I think all the page cards are, are in this reading 
Um, I'm not really sure, but Paige is youth. So someone, some Aquarius out there, you must have a lot of children or, or something. Like I said, all the Page cards are in this reading almost. So here's the Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Now the Page of Cups, it shows a need to play, dream, and have a little fun. As you can see, they're turning up the bottle at the park. And they're just hanging loose. So that's what... Um, Hmm. Well, let me let me tell you a little bit more about the page, page of cups. Now, when it comes to love and relationships, a younger person, like it could be just a few days, they may be a part of your love scenario. Remember, love doesn't know age; it does not know age. So, don't discount people who are younger than you at this time. Uh, this card in the context of love it can mean that someone is about to sweep you off your feet so give them a chance even if they're younger than you and um, so this is how your person that you're dealing with this is how they see you they see you as possibly younger than you younger than them and they see that um, there's a need or you play and you dream there's a need for you to play and dream a little more. You might be taking yourself a little bit too serious at this time. So they see you as also possibly with happy surprises. Um, they could see you as also as maybe a little bit immature because Paige is about immaturity. So I'm picking up that you're younger. For the majority of the Aquarius that, that, that are listening, they see you as younger than them. And um, either you're, maybe they, they think you're too playful or you dream too much. You hang out at the park loosely, <laughs> like these people are doing. Uh, you, you hang loose a lot. So that's how they see you with this page of cups. Um... It's paired with the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups is about deciding that a long-term relationship could end. It's going to end. And if you're sure about this, don't wait for the right time because there's never a good time to tell someone that the relationship needs to be over. So make sure you don't jump into a new relationship right away. Give yourself some time. So once again, they see you as hanging loose, youthful, um, probably playful, maybe you dream too much, and they also see you as walking away. So they see you as leaving behind or wanting to leave behind this connection. They see you as possibly withdrawing moving on and abandoning them or the connection so you may they, you may think it's not working for you anymore but they they feel it they see it and they know it's coming so i guess they see you as preferring to just hang loose and be be playful and uh, not so serious that's what these two cards are basically saying, how they see you. Now, let's move on down and take a look at how you see them. You see them as the Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands. So the Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to get in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It could mean that what you're hoping and dreaming about, it's going to be yours in a brief period of time. Keep in mind, the appearance of this card is showing a portent of happiness, good times that are to come. It usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. So if you ask a question, yes or no, some type of yes or no type of question, this card is a very powerful indicator of yes. But, well, yeah, it's... Is definitely a powerful indicator of 
Yes, in capital letters. Let me put it like that. So, when this uh, Nine of Cups talks about love and relationships, like I said, it's a very good curve for love also. So, if you're already in a relationship, it's very possible that it's going to deepen and become better and sweeter. And if you're single... And you get this card in a reading. It's a great time to meet people. So once again, get out, mix and mingle, do social media, have conversations with people that you meet without being married to. They're all potential outcomes. The ideal now is to have fun. So you're seeing the person you're dealing with like this, Nine of Cups. You see them as... blessed and satisfied in this connection yep this connection is something that they wish for and you see them as wanting to make the connection deeper and sweeter so yeah you see them as very happy and good times to come. That's how you see them. And it's paired with this Page of Wands. Now the Page of Wands, it's about messages of love and affection that are coming your way. If you're single, a uh, new suitor with whom you have a whole lot in common with and who is adventuresome. They may be about to burst into your world at this time. You might want to take a chance on them, but only if you're available. If you're in a relationship and unhappy, now's the time to begin deciding if the relationship can be saved and how long you're going to try to make it happen. Both parties have to be willing to work in the relationship. If your partner isn't, it might be time to move on. So, once again, you see the mess is Nine of Cups and this Page of Wands. Now, the, uh, like I said, the Nine of Cups, you're seeing them as blessed and very satisfied with this connection. And because it's paired with this Page of Wands, um, you see them as willing to continue to explore this connection. They're excited about the connection and um, they want to continue to offer love and affection. That's how you see them. What they want to offer you love and affection and they're happy because you got this nine of cups. That's just one cup short of ten of cups. So you see them as wanting this connection in a really good way. But with this Page of Wands, they do need to try to stay focused because they um, um, because they might want to explore this connection in other ways, but in a healthy way. Okay, because it's about mess. Like I said, messages of love. So they want to offer you love, and that's how you see them, and um, they're excited about this connection. So that's a good thing. And like I said, the Nine of Cups is just short of one cup, so this could be the one. And let's take a look at why it's all happening. Now we have the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Nine of Swords at, at the very top. Now the Nine of Swords... It's about guarding against feelings of anxiety. Yeah, so if you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of this is under your own power or, or control and try to lessen it. If other things or people in your life are contributing to this, to this anxiety, um... You want to try to, to, to deal with that. Try to lessen it, take care of it, 
And if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel that their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. Just know that that is where the beauty really is. Okay, and um, when it comes to love and relationships, this Nine of Swords, it's about something troubling you regarding a relationship. Don't ignore your gut feelings. Don't ignore your gut feelings because you're probably on point. If you feel something and the relationship is unhealthy, um, you're probably correct. And if you suspect that something is going on behind your back, your best bet is to ask your partner about it. And if you just re recently met someone new, don't get too carried away in believing that all is what it seems. Trust takes time to develop. So don't be in too much of a hurry at this time. And that's why it's happening, why everything is happening. Because of the Nine of Swords, there's some anxiety and trust issues. So there's a little bit of hardship in this connection right now. Possibly some nightmares and maybe some grief. Anxiety could be some depression. So it's with this Page of Pentacles. Now the Page of Pentacles, if you're in a relationship and you get this card, uh, it, it could have lost some of its luster, but that doesn't mean it's the end. It does not mean that, but it does mean that action and discussion is necessary so to create change you have to be honest about how you're feeling and if you're unattached and you're single and can't seem to meet someone new look carefully at what you're holding in your heart at this time you are probably or could be still attached to an ex so you may need to let go before you can expect to move forward so why it's all happening because there's there's some hardship in this connection like i said uh, some anxiety from either you your person or it could be both but i'm picking up that it's on one end one person is ha is having a lot of anxiety about this this uh connection and being that it's with the page of pentacles uh, the connection or relationship it needs to be revamped it probably needs needs a redo or a, re, a remake I mean yeah a remake or a remix it needs some type of change because it's kind of lost some of its zest some of its spark um, I guess most of you Aquarius have been with your person for a while but um, it's not the end it just needs discussion yeah so someone wants to really talk. Someone wants to have a conversation. Um, there's ambition and uh, desire with this page of pinnacles. But the connection has lost a little bit of its oomph. Okay, so there needs to be a lot of talk and a lot, a lot of conversation. And someone wants to do that um, because there's a lot of anxiety going on right now. And... Um, so there's some worry about this connection and that's why it's hap that's why it's all happening so Aquarius I hope you enjoyed this reading there's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks if I don't get a chance to do this extended that I'm talking about there's always a link below for personal readings, and so you could use that option also. So I just want to say thank you so very much for watching, and I'm hoping that you have a wonderful birthday, Aquarius, for this February, and um, I hope February is a great month for you. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope that your um, birthday is beautiful. I'm an Aquarius too, so I know what February is like. So, have a great day and have a great night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.
Keep for watching. Keep for watching.